getting ready to go through the diesel department. Uh, much like the automotive department, it's broken down into four, four sections, four different classes. And then we have an advanced program as well. So we'll go through each section separately. We'll tell you what they do, what the kids do, and then we'll kind of step back in advance and then we'll finish up the other half of the shop. This first section is our powertrains. It's everything underneath the truck, from the clutch all the way through to the wheel ends, your brakes, your, your drive line, your... This is heavy duty stuff heavy too, duty right? Stuff. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, we got a transmission pulled out and a differential pulled out, and they're on the stands here. Um, they, they all get rebuilt um, uh, on the tables, but on the trucks, they actually pull out a truck, a transmission, a clutch, the drive line, they do, so they all do the of it. the same system yep. that they do over in the mechanics. Exactly, That's except awesome. for on, except for on the larger scale. They'll also pull out the rear differential on us, do an R&R, &R, okay. re remove and replace. On the Peterbilt and the International, the Blue International, that's where they're doing preventive maintenance inspections and DOT inspections okay. to make sure that they're road ready. And the students do that yep, too? The students do that. So they know the inspection yep. process and everything. Exactly. Wow. They're learning everything from the bumper to the mud flap. The only thing that's not under the truck that we do is the fifth wheel where the where the trailer actually mates and marries up. Okay. That's the only thing that we'll teach them how to rebuild and adjust and set proper tension on it that way the trailer when when they lock in the jaws that it, when you go to pull it it won't come out so, so this is so much more than just the right. nuts and bolts i mean this is. is a learning how to safely safely load ab ac actuate the truck that's awesome the board here is this is a, a true working 121 air system everything on this board works with the exception of the compressor obviously because we got it cut away, but we'll plumb shop air into it. It'll cut in and cut out at the right uh, right air. So when the when the gauges on the tanks reach down to 90 psi, the air compressor will kick back on and fill the tanks back up to 120. So it, it does everything that, real that a truck simulator. real life sim simulator. We got we're simulating disc brakes up front. As you can tell, much much the same as a regular automotive, just on a much larger scale. So, awesome. what you you know, what you take in the you know twelve inch rotor, we're on an eighteen to twenty four inch rotor. I mean, so. it's got air actually yeah. in them too. Yeah, so it's pre it's pretty neat. This is amazing. Yeah. This is like a life schematic right here. This this part here, this portion, just simulates a trailer. So it's just just the same as you'd see on a on and a fifty four foot trailer. How to hook up? How so to hook right it up here, with, this is a truck yep. hooked up to a trailer, ready to take a load. Ready to go. Yep. That's awesome, man. So the next class is fluid power and refrigeration. This is where um, we kind of bridge the gap into the heavy equipment side okay. of things. Um, obviously on a much smaller scale, we're using skid steers. The final drives in the undercarriage on a skid steer is exactly the same as on a, on a dozer. Well, it's exactly the same. So we're just, we just scaled down what we're, what we're doing. Could you imagine <coughs> if you had this many dozers in this? Oh yeah, it, we'd have to have a building twice yeah. as big as we are. So they, they actually remove and replace the track over here. They do an inspection and everything on the final drive in the undercarriage. Um, and on the wheeled vehicles in the back, there's a chain that actually drives both the, both the wheels. We actually have them adjust that drive chain and make sure the tension's correct for that as well. So, I mean, they leave here as an entry-level technician right. right in a diesel field. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, the skid steers in the back, they are set up to where you can do pressure and flow checks on the hydraulic system and the hydrostatic system. Okay. So they're actually learning troubleshooting and, and diagnostics on those skid steers as well. So they, they go from here to over there, and while some of them are learning the basic schematics on the hydraulic boards, which I'll show you here in a minute, but the hydraulic boards are schematics. You get a schematic and then you gotta make it work. Awesome. Right behind you, there's a couple of HVAC trainers. Um, they're the same as a basic automotive air conditioning system, except for this one's out of a Freightliner M2. Um, <clears throat> but they have to learn how to evac, recharge, and test the, the HVAC system. They can get 609 certified here. Um, once they learn that, that on the AC unit, they'll go back <clears throat> Excuse me. They'll go back to the uh, the APUs, 
which is on, on most tractors. They'll have the APU system to run the AC. That way you're not running the big engine at I night. So they'll have the AC working in there. They'll have to do the same back there. When they get through with the basic AC on the 609 side, they'll move into transport refrigeration and they'll actually get their hands on the bigger, the reefer units that are on the trailers. Is that what this is? That's exactly what it is. So this is, is the front of a refrigerated yep. uh, semi-trailer. Semi-trailer, exactly. Okay. So okay. we got carrier, we got both carrier and thermal king units. So you um, even get yep. into the HVAC system on yep. refrigerating your load too? Yep. Cover and that's a, a that's a 608 certification is what that is. So we, we teach that as well. So, yeah. Honestly, I tell everybody, getting yourself to come to Wyo Tech is the hard part. Once you it get is. there, it's fun enough, everything's easy. It, that's <laughs> the way I believe. I, we, we do a great job. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't say enough to our instructors and our staff of what we do here. Uh, everybody. It's, you yeah. guys are as obsessed as, as yeah. the students are. I, I still get goosebumps walking through and... You know, it's just so phenomenal what we do on a well, daily basis. You don't have basis. to do anything here. You yeah. get to do everything. We get to do here. everything, yeah. exactly. So I'll show you the hydraulic boards real quick. So this is one of the hydraulic boards. This is where they kind of start. They'll get a, a working a schematic, and they'll have to know what all these symbols are. But on this board, it's pretty easy. You match symbol to symbol. You know, you look at the paper and say, okay, I need, I need a motor. Muscle memory is what yeah, this is Yeah, and, and it's all that. They got. They just got to memorize what the picture. Look at the picture and match it up. It's all plug and play, all quick disconnect. But on the big board over is there, is this typical? Like out in the industry, is everything pretty like quick disconnect on this yeah, kind of stuff? Yeah, they're they're all going quick disconnect because it's quick and easy to to make the repair. Okay. Downtime's a huge thing in the diesel industry. I mean, you're talking four to five thousand dollars a day. Yeah. Just in downtime, to where a car, if you lose a car for a day, it's yeah. a couple hundred bucks. You know. So it's, it's a huge difference. Now, like I was saying on the big board, that's not, it don't have schematic symbols anymore. It has the nomenclature of what the valve is. So it'll have a pressure reducing valve. It says pressure sequencing valve. What do you mean? What's, what's uh, so it has weighted cylinder, flow divider, I understand. three position spool valve. So it don't, so now you're looking at a schematic, which is all the symbols. But you have to you know have to you have to match it up to what it is. You have to know what what that symbol actually is. Now, as so, far as this course goes, this is probably the things that they're thinking about the least when they get here. Right. It ends up being about the most important in the it repair does. industry, doesn't it? It does. So we're gonna we're gonna jump back to the advanced diesel okay. side, and then we'll cover the rest of the okay. core side. <clears throat> So there's, there's approximately 18 trucks in here right now in this little area. This is our advanced diesel shop. It's a, a true live shop. These are customer vehicles. They're not, they don't belong to Wyotech. They belong to Halliburton, Penske, Reliable Transportation. Um, you can CMB, really find a spot to shine yeah, in here for yeah, a company, can't you? We can. Yeah, yeah and they, they, the trucks are donated by the company. Um, they pay for the parts. We take care of all the labor. They, the kids, if you look, there's, you know, paper, they got to keep the truck clean. But on the side of the truck, there's a, a checklist of things that the kids have to do and get signed off on. They have to do door adjustments, hood adjustments. They have to remove and replace fan hubs. They have to remove and place wheel ends, just, you know, just like they did up, they do up in powertrains. They have to adjust wheel bearing end play. They have to do brakes, they have to do clutches, they have to do starters, alternators. Uh, so this is like full revamp in here. It's total rebuild from bumper to mud flap of the truck. In order for the, the kids to pass their three month course back here, it has to pass a 25 mile road test, plus it has to be DOT inspected, road ready. So they, no uh, there's no here. faking it back here at all. Awesome. If, if they don't get it done, it's not gonna happen, so. It's true, a true testament of what, the, what they learned up there in core. They have to come back here and, and show their work. Yeah, we're doing an engine swap back here. So they're literally pulling one out and putting one back together. Um, they, just, they just put that engine in. So now they've got to take all the wiring harness oh and goodness. all of the alternator, the fan belts. The, so that kind of gives you an idea. That's what the customer wanted. He sent us the engine, said swap this to that, and it's like, okay, nice. one used engine for the next. 
And it's a work is, experience. When you true come work to experience, yeah. Like, I did not <clears throat> feel like I was kicking my feet up in between football games. You know, no. like, I, I and, came here for the work experience. For the most part, like, the week five and six of, of Advanced Diesel and week 11 and 12 of Advanced Diesel, the kids are here basically from... 6.30 in the morning to about 6 at night. They're, they're coming in early to try and meet the project deadlines and all that. So they're actually putting in extra time on their own free will because they don't want to fail and they want to be ahead of the game. And that's so, a good lesson to learn in yeah. life. If you want to outshine anybody, you got to put in right. hours you don't get credit for. Yep. You know, you good, on, good on them. Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's a true testament of how much our kids really want to be here and how much they want to learn. Let's get out of everybody's way. We'll head back to do the engines class. This corner right here is basically our engines class. They go over everything from the charge air cooler all the way through to the flywheel and then from the intake to the exhaust. So this back section here is set up for um, basically like it, you're doing an engine overhaul. So the kids have to pull the cylinders apart. They have to measure the crank, the cam see how it, how it is. They have to measure bearings. They have to do all the stuff that you do for an overhaul of, a, of, a, of an engine. So we have Detroit, we have a Packard, we have Cat, we have Cummins engines. Um, these, are all these are all runners, yep. They, we can fire all of them up and check them all. So this last section is our EMS phase. It's all electrical. Oh my goodness. It's literally everything from this is a proton, neutron, and atom. This is electron, electrically or negatively charged. This is positively charged. Oh my god. They gosh. start that basic, go into multimeter usage and how volts, ohms, and amps all work in relation. Then they learn how to use a multimeter and for setting the volts. So you go from te teaching them how to use a multimeter yep. to a diesel technician out in the all industry. The way through. Um, these That's boards so cool. are set up to where they can plug and play. Uh, set up a headlight circuit, a clearance light circuit. You have everything. Marker lights, um, brake lights. So you get to actually see what everything yep. does and how it works. Yep. Man, that's cool. So you got circuits, you got latch relays here, you got regular relays there. And then we even go through the cab, we have a multiplexing board. It's all CAN bus and stuff like that. It all does multiplexing. So once they get done and master the, the, the multimeter, they learn the oscilloscope and the picoscope. Then they have engines over here. This is pretty cool in my opinion, because each inside of here, they'll, we'll, they'll hook up the computer and they'll get to the CAT, CAT sys program. And then we have like these two are shut off, these two circuits. It'll bring up a fault on the computer and they have to go through the troubleshooting to, to diagnose why my boost sensor failed. So you're so, you're just shutting off power and making that the problem with the engine. The problem. And th these are probably, you do that for problems they're going to see right. in the industry exactly more. So is. you're forcing the issue. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. I didn't know all this went into the diesel program. I, I was thinking that they just got in here and turned into grease monkeys, you know? <laughs> so seeing like true development come under the roof from high school students to the future of our industry, man. I appreciate everything you guys are developing in here, man. And thanks for showing me around, Jay. It was awesome meeting you.